Um, hi guys, so today I want to show you how to use this uh, widget component. Okay, it allows you to add a widget to a 3D environment uh, instead of adding it to a, to the 2D screen. Uh, this is what I mean. So here's the widget right here, and uh, the widget blueprint is right here. So this is how you can use it. You can create your widget blueprint however you want, and then you can add it to a 3D scene with um, 3D transformations. So you know that usually when you are dealing with widgets, you do add to viewport, which will then lay out the widget on this 2D screen. But the use of this component is that it allows you to add it to the 3D scene with 3D uh, transformations. You can use it for billboards and stuff, but for me, what I'm doing here, I'm using it for a rhythm game. Um, so here's an example. As you can see, it shows people uh, where to press the buttons when the when the um, notes come and uh, through the note highway. Okay, so for the rhythm game, I'm using this plugin, uh, this plugin right here, the Media Engine Rhythm Tools plugin. You can get it on the marketplace, but uh, that's irrelevant for now. And um, for the widget itself, it's just a basic widget blueprint. Ah, there's a couple of border screen panel. Just create a, uh, any blueprint that you like, okay? And then go into your actor blueprint and then type in a widget, right? You then add a widget, uh, a widget component to your list, right? So this is my widget component, which is the judgment area for the for the rhythm game. So I want to go through some settings. Uh, the first setting you want to set after you add this it's the widget class right so this is the first setting it's under user interface so go to the widget class and then choose your widget which is this one in this case so choose that widget the second setting you want to search is the draw size okay so the draw size controls two things it controls the size of the widgets when it's getting drawn and the resolution okay so by default it will look something like this uh, which is set to 500 by 500. So my recommendation is that you set it to, um, let's say you, design, you, you designed your widget using these dimensions, right? 256 times 1080. So you can do that right here. So go here and then 256. What's that? 2560. Uh, let me see. Yeah. 2560 times 1080. 2560 and, uh, 1080. Okay. So if you feel like your widget in the in the three D world is low resolution, low resolution, sorry, you can uh, increase this. But for me, this works for me. It's it's high quality enough. So as soon as you do that, your widget will start to appear. So you can also move it around. As you can see, uh, I can place it anywhere within the actor's uh, parent component. So just place it wherever you want it to appear. For me, it's here, and then parent it to the. You don't need to parent it to anything except the the root component, so that it moves with everything. So, the second option you likely want to be interested in, you want to change, is the redraw time. So, this is how 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 often your widget um, updates. Okay, so it's like your tech time for the for the widget. So for mine, by default. It's set to 0.0, .0 which means it will um, redraw every frame. Okay, for mine, it's set to just redraw every second. Okay, so um, the use case here is if your widget has to update like every frame, like you've got like graphics that are popping up, like for example, for a rhythm game, let's take a look at um, Fortnite Festival. So you can see that this updates every second. So if your widget has to update every second, you can always uh set this to zero 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 okay but if you if your widget doesn't need to redraw every second set it to one just for performance um for performance use users okay and then the last and uh, most important option i think you need to look at is this um the material that you use for the widget okay so by default umbrella engine sets it to this okay this is the widget 3d pass through masked one-sided so the problem with this one is that it doesn't allow you to um, to show transparency. If I zoom in here, you can see there's no transparency. But in the widget here, there is transparency in my in my border. Okay. So one thing you want to do, as you can see, there's transparency in my border. But back in my uh, in my blueprint here, 
it's not transparent so you want to switch the widget uh, material here uh, it's widget 3d pass okay so these materials they they come by default with unreal engine and you want to set it to translucent okay one of these two will work both of these two will work these other ones won't work so you want to set it to translucent translucent so that you get the opacity that you've set in your widget so if i do this you can see now we get that um that transparency that we set here so yeah that's it those are all the three options that you that are really yeah, most important the rest you can read through i think tech mode enabled is on by default so yeah that's pretty much it